All right, let's get right to it. Try to get back on that quest for the best train. Playing green black constrictor deck today. If you're watching the replay. I'll try to put the deck list in the description. If you're not watching the replay and you tune in live, all you gotta do is scroll down to see what deck I'm playing. I enter it under the featured decks column. And let's get back in the habits. Play the magics. So, as you might expect, this is a deck built around Winding Constrictor, putting counters on things. Making large creatures really fast. It's got a lot of energy stuff going for it too. This hand's interesting, and I think we can keep it. Usually turn two smugglers copters pretty good. Okay, I don't feel like we earned this one. But our opponent just took right off. Apparently they didn't have enough confidence in their goblin arsonist. Which I understand. Uh, a one lander, perhaps? I shall prey upon this. <laughs> Even without the card, prey upon. Welcome to Al, or AI, T91. Definitely gonna open with Copter here. I don't like putting the Siphoner down when there's an Arsonist on the table. So we might have to give give that the last hope treatment. We'll see. Game will probably unfold interestingly. Up oh, through that land, hit that Inferno Fist. Big money, no whammies. Here comes the beats. I suppose that means I should just Liliana right here, although could double up our energy, attack with Copter, take one more hit. I do have two Harvesters. I feel like my life total's in okay shape, but it also can't be too bad of a move to just get the one threat off the battlefield. <laughs> it's always hard, like, I, I, I read a lot of uniquely phrased names, so yeah, I always screw something up. I'm terrible with names in real life, too. Can't remember anybody's name for the death of me. Just some of my shortcomings, if you, if you prefer. Alright. Need energy, or maybe to draw into a black source, and then we could do the constricting. Yeah, let's try that. Uh, we doing just fine, Neon. Thanks for coming out today. Do its death, because we have another, but let's see. I guess another hub's fine. We did draw into the untapped black source, so right on cue. So we can play our siphoner and get that energy right back. And draw some extra cards probably too. Run that energy game, baby. Hey, hey. So our opponent, will they continue their mana screwed ways or will they draw a castable? Not looking good for them. We've got a magma spray. Well, that's not nothing. That does cut that down. Whew, that's mean. That's mean on my part. Now let's see if we can draw a payoff. Turns out two threes are annoyingly hard to kill. They're pretty tough. I think we'll just lay copter number two out of this spot. I don't think there are any creatures down here. Yeah, he exiled that other one. But things look almost too good. Let's just draw all the constrictors and all the copters all day. You know what? Let's stop drawing winding constrictors. I want to save some for the next game. Since this deck functions 
dramatically different with a constrictor. Epitap. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Thelona. You came into a pretty devastating board. Smugglers, copters, and winding constrictors, and tireless trackers, and Liliana, oh my. And yeah, uh, like I said, I wish I would just stop drawing them, because I know now I won't draw any in the next 10 games. Would strongly prefer to stop drawing constrictors now. Forgot to even tick my lily. I was so uh, tilted by the triple constrictor, double copter, heart of cure and draw. Magma spray part two. Apparently, we've got a handful of that kind of card. All right. I'm just going to send over the snakes. My opponent has shown they really don't have a way to remove them. And that'll be that. Yep, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> yeah, no second Heart of Kirin. <laughs> That's right. Total failure of a draw. <laughs> Let's, we'll take that to the 1-0, shall we? A convincing 1-0 at that. A mana screwed opponent. Triple Constrictor, Double Copter, Heart of Kirin. Double Harvester, too, that we didn't even cast. Just discarded those. Who needs Aether Sphere Harvester, really? Yep, it's snake time. We're 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 showing we're showing how to still use a winding constrictor type deck. Didn't get a lot from the new set, obviously. The new set's not all about putting counters on things unless they're minus ones. And all right, Jingle 35 has a deck, has about at least 23 victories at some point. Woo! These are the kind of hands why not? <laughs> it's got Copter. What could go wrong? Copter blossoming defense at that. Opponent opens with a forest despite the J sleeves. Maybe they were there to fool us. Hey, I'm scared I'll never draw another Copter again after that last game, so of course I'm going to keep this. And we are telling time on that main phase. No threatening of the sensor, so I don't think we have to play around it anytime soon. I'm a, I, I am brave. Brave is my middle name. Um. Yep. It's just better than a cub. As much as I like getting that energy, cub's a little funky in this deck. You kind of want to play it when you have some energy generated by your winding constrictors, and then use it as opposed to using it to try to get energy by attacking. And we've got Teamer Colors. What's coming? It's the Phoebe. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is gonna get exciting. Let's see, is it a fog deck? And can we beat a fog deck? I don't know. I don't know if I can beat a fog deck. That's a lot, man. I guess I'll play this. It's tough. Even a blossoming defense is tempting, but I can also just play tracker. Be mana efficient. Probably good. Because I'm not going to discard it and loot away a land anyway. And I don't. I'm not going to need the. Um, I'm not going to need the clues. But yeah, I win in the red zone. I'm probably dead. But let's find out. Let's let's. Let's see what happens. My opponent only needs to slip once, and if that if I catch them fogless, they will die. I 
Okay. We just want to punch him as hard as we can. Yeah! Here we go. It probably is a mill deck. Double Evolving Wilds hitting the bin, leaving up a green. Do we get a tap land? Another harbor? Yep. I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling foggy. Feeling foggy about this. And I have basically no interaction for all that nonsense. Alright. Uh let's cub it. I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Yeah, green mana open. The situation is getting uh, grim, we might say. Don't think I... Nah, there's just no way. I have to... I, he, I just have to make him have it every time. Till the end of time. And that's the only way to be. Okay. Yep, this is a problem. That's why we splash insult. You know, you guys... Oh, wait! We do have something. If we get a hit in, we do have something. We're not on a no-outer. We do have something that deals damage. Oh, boy, it's Nyssa. <laughs> Terrifying. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even going to attack that. <laughs> and the card is... Did nothing. Excellent. All right, get that back. Just keep up the face punch. ID. Uh, is my opponent missing land drops after all this? That's kind of funky, but can happen. You never know. Guess my creature is scrap heap, so I'm supposed to play scrap heap. Which feels weird. Not Ballista, though. Yeah. Guess so. I didn't want to exile the other Scrap Heap Scrounger to get back the Scrounger. That's why I discard the Hydra. Hydra is a big mana expense for a card that's probably not going to do anything. I want to play all two and threes. I don't want to spend four mana for a creature. And discarding the Untethered Express is probably going to come up too later. <laughs> um, but right now I've got too many lands going. Is it going to hit? We hit. Yes! Yes! Now we're talking. One could say I should have pumped in the energy in the Blossoming Defense. That's just, you know, the fog blowout. It's too terrifying. So if I leave two mana up, I can end the turn, crack a clue, grow my tracker. Or I could just play heart. And then if he does wrath or something, I just get back the scrap heap scroungers, and then I can crew heart and copter, so that's good. <laughs> Aha, we hit him once. We hit him once. Oh yeah, here we go. See if he can find another fog. We know he had a. He did not have a land on top of his deck, but now we're scrying. Now we're scrying. And it's another Visions. Rut row. Alright, so. Prevent all common damage that would be dealt to players. So I can... Hmm, if he has the fog... If he doesn't have the fog, he's dead. But I can at least make him... If he has commencement, I can take out his Nyssa. So that's something. Trafficker. Does that do anything? don't think that does anything. Energy. I guess I'd want this on the board first. Alright. And I guess I want to loot? Because if I draw a second Ballista, life is great. Alright. 
And commencement, but I'm still going to kill your Nyssa. So he's trying to psych me out, I guess. I know how to read the cards, though. Nice. Another Constrictor. Put that down. Put this out. I think we're up to five. Five on Ballista. Down to ten life. I wonder if I'm supposed to be trying to empty my hand or to draw into something else. Probably empty the hand so I don't draw, die to the visions, right? Okay, we're glimmering main phase. What's that tell me? Is he desperate? Seems like he must have some of those eight fogs in hand, right? Must. Must. All right, I'm gonna start trying to unload my hand. Let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two. So can I do that on my turn? I guess I can pay an energy, play this defense. Cause this card doesn't matter anymore. Definitely should have tried to do it earlier. That was a mistake. Let him discard. It's not, it's add an additional counter beast. It's not double. If one or more counters would be placed on, that many of those counters plus one are placed. So right now, this comes in for three. Then this makes it four. Then this makes it five. Five is not six. go uh-huh the festivities have commenced I get that nothing I can do about that I really just want to find it like another ballista would be ideal but and we're just drawing lands 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 all right, and now what, do I thin? I'm gonna go down to three, but I can't get under this. So I'm gonna go down to six, then if he has a way to burn me out, I'm toast. So what's the right play here? I guess I'll just put out the basic. Uh, I've got two basics, but yeah, thinning my deck can't be that useful of a play, but oh well. This does gives me, I guess, more clues to sack to my Syndicate Trafficker and make him huge. And I want to leave up the mana in case I want to get back, say, the scrap heaps, but that doesn't seem likely. I don't know. All right, here we go. Can he kill me? Does it work that way? Play Ballista for two. Hmm. So that's one, two, three. Then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah! Actually, you got me on that one. Nice. I never even thought of that. Guess I've just never put myself in that, that situation. Didn't even come to mind. That's pretty slick. Is there any interaction that doesn't play around? I don't think so. Yeah, that's, that's sick, dude. I, I regret missing that. That is gross. Of course, I rarely... Let's see. Hmm. Not an excuse. I definitely should know my stuff better. But I do not play this deck often. 
it's really a little anti-style, so kind of a weak excuse, if you will. But yeah, I'm glad to have learned that today, still. Mm -hmm. So he fogs me, great. And I guess that one hit is going to be good enough. See if he wants to concede. Yeah, that only works when you have two or more snakes. I think. I think otherwise it comes out the same. But yay! We did find a way through the fog. <laughs> Hallelujah. I was worried there. One of those matchups, right? It's like, do I have any way around this shenanigans? But we found. Walking Ballista, doing God's work. Making sure that fog decks don't win. You know, I don't even know, like, seriously, somebody should go through my videos. Have I ever had two Winding Constrictors on the battlefield before today? Before these last two games? It may have never happened. <laughs> it may have never happened to be... All right, going into game three. <laughs> I'm confident that if I had multiple snakes, they should get Deccan stoned, but hasn't been that way today. No planes from the opponent. But McCrack is our opponent. Well, for all that is decent, we must win this game. Uh, no snake this time. Of course, black mana from Butt McCrack. Of course. What else could it be? We shall answer your swamp with a swamp of our own. Uh-oh, it's Zombos. Not a great matchup without a snake. We're just a slower deck, is, is what it boils down to. But I'll at least put out a cub and make him think about blocking. Uh, it's, club over, it's cub over Siphoner um, for sure, because we only have one green mana and three black sources, so we want to use that green mana every turn that we get a chance to. And, oh my, it's like that, y'all. It's like that. That's, that's the way it's going to be today. That's not good. All right, we got to get pretty aggressive. Hey, there's another green. So Nissa's kind of like asking to die, but it's the most efficient use of our mana. So I can play the other cub. Well, let's see what he does if I attack. If he trades... We're out, we're out of the woods for a minute. Okay, he does not trade. I wonder if he wants to draw cards. Seems like he might. I guess I'll put out another one, because now that can be a 3-3, three, three, if I want it to be a 3-3. Three, three. I'll put this down, threaten the blossoming defense. And we'll just try to run him over, although the drain is going to make that really hard. But we need to draw a snake. If we draw a snake, this hand could get explosive enough to do the work. Oh, it might be missing land drops. Ooh, okay. Well, that changes things a little. Oh, did we just clutch this? Is that a clutch draw, you guys? Oh, my lord. Okay. Hmm, what to do? I guess I don't show him. Or wait, I play it now. I just play it straight up because then he has to use the Crypt Breaker now if he wants 
And then I know what he's doing. All right. <laughs> Now he has to make his decision with Grip Breaker. And in it is. Is it gonna be draw? It's gonna be draw. And it's gonna be grasp? Jeebus, okay. Dude's got stuff going on, no doubt about it. So now what? If he has another removal spell, he has any other removal spell, or like binding mummy into a one drop, Lily dies anyway. So am I just supposed to attack here? Or do I make him have it? I think I need to assert aggression. I can't really win a control game. I really can't. He has better removal. He has more spells in hand. I, I'm supposed to attack here. Yep, there's our lord. And down goes Lily. But she gained, she did work. She bailed my ass out of Crit Breaker Hell. Alright, now what? Ooh. Okay. Well, we'll keep up the aggro for sure. I wonder if I'm supposed to just make that a 5-5 five, five now to get around Grasp of Darkness. Well, if he has Grasp, he'll want to go after Heart. So let's see if we can continue to divert him towards our... Uh, Planeswalkers instead of our life total. Mm-hmm. Target. The heart. Well, I would have definitely waited till I activated it, but sure. Now you are down to 10. Uh-huh, no blocks, no problem. So, things are kind of going according to my weird plan <laughs> of just keeping him off balance. There's a good draw. And this will put him that it'll make untethered a lethal attacker. Yeah, Planeswalker is absorbing 14 damage. Yep, it's part of staying aggressive. Now let's see if our opponent tries to turtle up here since it's 17 to 5. Let's see if they know how to turtle up. Uh-huh. Sure. Counter's going there, yep. I don't know. He probably should have attacked first if that was the plan. And another one. 
What's the plan? I let him go to seven. And that's two lethal attackers, so he'll, something will have to die. If. No, wait, that attacks for five anyway. That goes up to six. Okay. Oh, it would be great if I drew an Evolving Wilds, though. Alright. Now let's see if we can bait, get him to attack with something. Nope, nothing. Nothing's going to attack. Okay. Um, I mean, you work, sort of. You can definitely get the Untethered Express online. All right. So I'm guessing we'll have a block with the 6-5 over here, but let's see what he does. I, if the servant gets in, involved, we can blow him out pretty hard. Let's see what happens. I am the frickin' beatdown. Let's see if our zombie opponent has learned this. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Away with that. Drop him to five? All right, so is there any downside to playing this? No, because we have Scrap Heap Scrounger, which can come back. So we'll play this. I'm trying to think, like, do you run sweepers in your zombie deck? But no, I'm confident I'm just supposed to get everything I can on the board. Even if he does, like I said, Scrap Heap comes back, Untethered gets rolling. Dark Salvation is the best card that one could have. Not draw then one more land, though, that I think he needed to make it the Haymaker. Mm-hmm. All right, in you go. Let's get trampling. Going to one. Now I've even got a land I can charge you with. All right. What can you do? Had enough? Another servant. And a binding mummy. The the hits just keep on coming. But I am still the frickin' beat down. Okay. Can he find a way out? I don't think there is one. Nope. Not this time. Ugh! Alright. I'll beat a rank 40 Zombos. Missed a land drop, but otherwise it was a pretty competitive game. Snakes! Thank you for the visuals, Dr. Rock. Bravo. 3-0! Two more, and we can send Energy Snake into the quest for the best sunset. That was an exciting one.
what I I guess looking back at that game, the best I think it was the best was deciding to continue to beat down in the face of having my Liliana killed. The Planeswalkers did take an immense beating. Nissa and Liliana got their face smashed in. But the goal isn't to ultimate a Planeswalker. The goal is to win the game. And when you're a creature deck, that does a lot of attacking. I just know that one thing you know when you play against zombies a few times, one, they have a lot of removal, so it's hard to block the zombies. Two, Lord of the Accursed gives menace, so it's hard to block the zombies. Three, Binding Mummy taps your creatures. It's hard to block the zombies. So if your deck is a pile of creatures and their deck is zombies, you can't win a control game. You can't expect to block, so you have to attack. Take that away, you zombie you zombie folks, or you folks out there who want to beat zombies when you play against them, you have to attack. You cannot expect to block. Yeah, all right. Cool. The hands have been generous. To the battlefield, smuggles. Let's do this thing. Blue red. What could it mean? Mana left open. Can he kill a cop? Can he kill a copter? Ooh. Hmm. I think I'll just play around sensor and not attack with my copter. Oh wait, if he has a harness lightning, I just want to get it out of his hand, don't I? Yes, I do. Have I done black aggro? I did uh, black grindy zombies. I honestly think that the black aggro decks, although they definitely have a following, are a little mopey for my taste. They just, they, they don't do it as well as other decks with another color. I mean, they're fine. Bone Picker is good. Like, I have a black aggro deck. A f so somebody's playing a very similar black aggro deck to mine in uh, tournaments. Like, there's a lot of black aggro decks in Steam Showdown, but having watched them play, I, I, I don't feel like it's where you really want to be. So my opponent's showing us all the removal and missing a land drop. So let's see if we can grind through it here. We might have time to put one in quest for the best, for the funds. I do I do admit, I like a deck with Bone Picker and um, Despoiler of Souls and Dread Wanderer and Scrap Heap Scrounger and Smuggler's Copter and Heart of Kirin. Like that, that stuff all flows really nice. <laughs> but I just don't know if it's that great. All right, let's pump this up. I haven't seen Atma's match in the last round. Uh, I think he dropped and quit duels forever. I think that's what he thinks of Black Aggro now. <laughs> I think that was, at, at least if the end of his video is to be believed. Of course, it's happened. All right, our tireless tracker got cut, but Constrictor lives. Come on, land off the top, one time. Eh, not the land I wanted, but it will do. Opponent's still a bit mana screwed, unfortunately for them. They're getting the treatment right now as far as the snake deck goes. Giving them the business. I'm not, I'm gonna save this. I think it's a blowout waiting to happen here next turn. Really? You think Thing in the Ice is looking good here? I mean, if he can flip it, sure. But I think he's gonna die first.
Atma was in the pairings. I guess we'll see if he shows up. I mean, what can I say? Um, mm -mm. pop a clue. We had some other lines, but I like this one right now. Which is to punch him as hard as I can. And generate as many clues as I can. So even if he can uh, pop thing in the ice next turn, he just gets hammered for doing so. What you got? Nope. No blocks. Guess he's made his bed. He might be able to flip thing here. But if he does, he probably attacks the Nissa, Or else Nissa just makes chump blockers for infinity. And then we untap. And we play our Constrictor. Maybe we play our Ballista, or maybe we play our Scrounger. And then he's in a really tough spot all over again. So here comes the Harness Lightning. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You got it. Now let's see if we can overcome the 7-8. If our opponent has stabilized or not. I think we'll... I think we're still... I think we're still scary. I think we're still a scary opponent. <laughs> Overkill on, on the voice of Zendikar there. Alright. Uh, that's a really good card for this situation. Now, I think he'll try to kill that Constrictor, but we can respond by pumping our Trafficker. And it is a Chandra. Meow. All right. Get ready to chump block thing in the ice. I know you're not used to it. But now you're fine. This is probably, I bet you might find this to be the best syndicate trafficker you've ever seen. Nope, don't draw. That would be an accident. And an unfortunate one. Nom. And we'll get you out there. And for good measure, we'll get you out there. Let's see what our opponent can do. Four mana, Glimmer. Yeah. Um, that's probably a red. That's probably a white flag. At this point, when you're pe spending mana to draw cards, that ain't good. But for a two rank, our opponent's playing what seems like a pretty legit blue red deck. Okay, we got Chandra. And what it, what, it, what all have we seen here? We've seen. Multiple, we've seen two Planeswalkers, we've seen Thing in the Ice, we've seen Telling Time, Glimmer of Genius, Geist, Blast, Harness, Lightnings. Yeah, pretty legit. It's blue red control -y type thing. But we brought, we brought the pain. And once again, Miss Land Drops are kind of a big deal in Magic. Along with the best syndicate trafficker in the history of the world. Just noms on thing in the ice. Rawr, 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 rawr.
Rough. All right, we need one more to hit the 5-0. The easy qualifying button. It's definitely the easy button for qualification. Instead of playing like 10 games, just 5-0. You head right in, right into playoffs. Seal or no seal, this here is not a petting farm. <laughs> Word. Although, the uh, last few games have been challenging opponents. And here comes a JC. Don't know what all that is. And our hand's great. We basically get to go Heart of Curin City, take him to the heart. Looks more like a black vehicle deck right here. And there is our first appearance of the day by Verdurus Gearhulk, who may or may not do anything in this game. Two mana. Do we have something to push? No. They do not play anything to Fatal Push. And I will go with Heart. Our hand's pretty good. I don't need to loot right. <coughs> Whoa, excuse me. I don't need to loot right this minute. And they're leaving mana up. What's that mean? What does that mean? Am I supposed to attack into that? I guess I can with the trafficker now. Because then I can just sack the heart and get something out of it. All right. Get in there. What hand did you keep that does nothing for three turns? Perhaps a turn four Gideon? Let us find out. Clifftop Retreat. Waiting. Waiting with much anticipation. Where's my fast forward button? Which just introduced that you can play at 2x speed when watching replays. Don't know if that's big news in anyone else's life, but I got to watch some Fight Club and Showdown results in double time. Maybe my opponent is deeply considering their Gideon facing down a Heart of Curin. They were like, darn it, I thought all I had to do was play turn four Gideon and I win the game. And here comes a Chandra. Okie dokie. The choice was made. The Traveler has come. Choose and perish. All right. So what I'm going to do is play this Scrounger, because it gives me a way to crew the heart and something to sacrifice to Trafficker. Don't let all this good Trafficker stuff, Nessus Trafficker, Trafficking, don't let all this fool you. There's plenty of times where he's just a 3-1 for 2 mana. But sometimes he lines up with the right half of your deck and goes craze, cray cray. Let's give that a shot. See if it resolves. Get my indestructible on. Take out your mythic. Drop you a 12. Yep. All that happened. Origin Chandra was a legit problem when it came down on turn 3 in the red deck. The mono red Origins and the mono red Origins Zendikar deck. Turn three Chandra was a, a, a serious issue. We did not have 
all the ways to kill it that we have now. Oh, there it is. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, it's General Taziri. We have an allies deck. Yep. Right, straight out of left field. The ultimate, the ultimate legendary creature. Because if you are willing to pay the low, low price of five mana of each color, all ally creatures get plus X plus X, where X is the number of colors among those creatures. The, the, the true payoff. A payoff's payoff, if ever there was a payoff. All right. Um, I guess we'll get him for eight damage in the air. Try to, anyway. There we go. Yeah, those fatal pushes in my hand are useless. You got me there. So just so you know, uh, because of the way that you have to choose your targets for the Gear Hulk, Heart of Kirin has to be a creature when Gear Hulk enters the battlefield. You can't play Gear Hulk and then in a window activate Heart of Kirin and then put the counters on Heart of Kirin. So that's why I had to tap my trafficker there in case anybody was wondering. Man, you just you just can't keep a Taziri down, a good general Taziri. Which was this even in the lore? I mean, I didn't read the lore for Zendikar. Uh, I think I read maybe one story, but I didn't read the whole story, right? So my impression from reading Battle for Zendikar is that the Allies just get their butt kicked and lose. I mean, how? What kind of a board state do you need for this to be Ulamog? What board state do you need for a General Taziri to overcome Ulamog? It's... it's... it's insane. It's insane. Alright, I accept your concession. <laughs> oh my goodness. A little anticlimactic on the... on the fifth game, but there you go. 5-0. Didn't even cast that ambush leader that General... the General sought. Alright, so that enshrines energy snake into the into the hall of champions and the quest for the best so hope you enjoyed that i'm going to take a quick breather i might come back in a few it depends depends on what else is going on in the house but uh thank you for watching i'll see you later